All right, y'all. What's popping? What's popping? What's popping? What's popping? What's up, my babies? It is Mira. It is Shira. It is Vera. It is Scorpion Red Zero. I am back at it again. Back, back at it again. One time for the one time. Yes, indeed. To let you guys know what your inner self guidance message is to yourself. Yes, what your inner self guidance is. What your inner self would like to tell you at this moment. All right, so I have no idea what sign we're getting into. Um, before we do the uh, shake and break on the tarot dice to figure out what sign we're reading for today, let me get my book and see if it be read for already. I just want to give a shout out to all my OGs, a shout out to all my newbies, shout out to every last one of my babies for like, sharing, subscribing, and coming through and clicking this video. I want to give big shout outs and love to you. Thank you so much for all the love and support. The best way to show love and support to this channel is by clicking the like button and putting a comment down in the uh, comment section. Let me know how it's resonating, how things are feeling, if things are resonating, if they're not resonating. Just, you know, let me know how you feel. All right, so before we get into the tarot dice, I want everybody to focus your energy, focus your energy, and let's pray that your sign comes out. All right, y'all ready? We gonna shake them up, shake them up, shake them up, shake them. All right, let's break it. We have Taurus. We got Taurus in the building. Taurus, we're about to figure out what your inner self guidance messages to yourself right now Taurus you know they can't ignore us let's get into this baby let's do it for the Taurus all right let's see what the inner self guided message is for our signs of Taurus all right Taurus before we get into this energy today we want to bow our heads and just thank God and just praise him for waking us up today and just you know blessing us with all of the major energy and the blessings that we have surrounding us right now. So, Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here collectively for the sign of Taurus. Because you know they can't ignore us. Thank you for making us strong. Thank you for making us determined. Please give us the inner guided message that each Taurus needs to receive right now to just make them better. To help all of their uh, wishes and, and, and their uh, seeds that they planted flourish, blossom, and truly become fruitful. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen, amen, and amen. All right. All right, let's get into this. Taurus. They can't ignore us. Let's get into this. All right. We're going to get into the sign of Taurus. Please give us the inner guidance message for the sign of Taurus right now. What does the sign of Taurus need to tell their self right now? All right. What does the sign of Taurus need to say to self right now? What is the inner guidance message from Taurus? What is Taurus inner guidance message? Taurus inner guidance message. You have relationship harmony. All right. Looks like relationship harmony and balance is coming into play. All right. And at the bottom of the deck, you got divine order. <laughs> it's going to take some time and patience, Taurus. It's going to take some time and patience. But like they say, patience is a virtue. You got relationship harmony and divine order. So I think you just need to take your time and let things be at peace right now. Allow things to naturally take place and like develop naturally they don't force anything um like i was saying just let things kind of be at peace right now let things be at peace it says we angels are opening the hearts of everyone involved arguments and conflicts are being resolved now and divine order says everything is how it needs to be right now Look past the illusion and see the underlying order. So everything happens for a reason, not for a season. If you guys are taking a break right now, if you guys are just starting to develop a new relationship, but things are just not moving as fast as you want it, everything is like in divine order. It's in the correct frequency right now. Don't overdo it. Don't push it. Don't force it. Just let things go and just kind of go with the flow, it looks like. Everything is in divine order. 
All right, so let's find out what the inner guidance message is about this relationship harmony being in divine order. So let's find out what Taurus needs to say right now. I just heard you need to take care of your house for a second. It's like you got to take care of your house. You got to take care of your home. You got the Empress right here. All right. You got the Empress in the Hierophant. Wow. Wow. You got two major Arcanas. Wow. And then at the bottom of the deck, you got the Six of Swords. So I... I'm sorry, but I got to take this because it kind of makes sense. Especially with the Six of Swords and the relationship harmony and things like that. So I feel like you're in a safe place now to kind of talk, um, to kind of hash things out. I feel like it's more respectable conversation. I feel like the Hierophant is teaching someone how to deal with an Empress. And again, it has to do with divine order and divine timing. And again, with a certain level of stature, you don't talk to an empress like that. You don't deal with an empress like that. That's a whole totally different level from a queen. Like you're past the queen era. You got an empress right now. Because I was about to cuss, but then I just realized we got the hierophant and the empress that we're talking about right now. So I can't cuss. So there's a certain level of respect. There's certain boundaries. That have to be taken. It's certain measures. That you have to abide by. It's certain rules. You know. This isn't a lawless university. This is a place of learning. This is a place of etiquette. This is a place of dedication. This is a place of royalty. Jesus, because this ain't even me talking. Like, God dang. Like, I don't even know where the hell that came from. But the Hierophant means serious business. It's like either you are going to learn or you'll get shut out. Either you are going to learn or you're going to get shut out. You'll be removed. You'll be displaced. You'll be disbarred. There'll be no ruckus. There will be no miscommunication. There will be no... Uh, discrepancies there will be divine order there will be respect there will be honor and there will be discipline I, and I'm serious there will be order and there will be discipline it's something about someone moving away it's like they're in a safe refuge now like you've come from a troubled place you've come from a troubled place and it's like you're receiving some type of help, some type of aid. But with that help and aid requires you to pay attention, to learn, to be respectful, to honor yourself first and foremost. Because the teaching of the Hierophant, come on, it's, it's, come on now. It's about honoring yourself first. It's like once you learn how to pay attention... And honor yourself and follow universal law, it's like everything else will fall in line. And, and it keeps, it's like you're not dealing with anybody else, you're dealing with an empress this time. It's like, so you gotta listen and pay attention. It's something here about where you came from, it's no reflection of where you're going. Yeah. You did come from a rough background. And we saved you from that. That's no reflection of where you're going. You need to leave that behind. You understand? It's like someone understanding mentally. Because these are swords. Mentally. That wherever you came from. Don't walk around like that shit is a badge of honor. What I'm hearing like someone's like, I'm from Brooklyn, son. <laughs> I'm from the borough. I'm from the projects. I'm, I'm, I'm gully. <laughs> oh my god. It's like. 
someone is trying to take the pain of their past life or whatever struggles and carry it with them and you can't you can't go in the university you can't go in the government but because you gotta remember the hierophant is like some type of faction of job or work entity it's like a government building it's like a school um like i said some type of educational factor or something and you have to have the uniform you have to look the part you have to pay your dues you have to be respectful like everything it's like you have to honor yourself to be a part of this because it's like you're not coming in here looking bad like it's like like legit you're not going to come in here looking bad because we're not going to accept you like that it's like either you gonna follow the rules or you gonna get kicked out and the only rule that we ask you is honestly to honest yourself and act like you have courteous courteousness and respect for yourself and others and if you wouldn't treat a queen like that, you damn sure ain't going to treat an empress like that. So it's some level of teaching that's going to help you create, that's going to help you develop yourself, that's going to help you like expand the world around you. The empress is about expansion, it's about beauty, it's about luxury. And if you want to be able to live this way, if you want to be able to carry yourself in this fashion, wear these fashions, educate your sons, your daughters to be successful like you or to be, well, well I want to say it's not a, a fiction of your imagination. Like you could really play this part. Uh, it's like, I, I feel like someone might have come from such a troubled environment I think the Empress was first and then the Hierophant what's the I think yeah, the Empress was first and then the Hierophant came out yeah I seen her first so I don't know Taurus you could be dealing with a woman uh, either the Taurus is a mother or a Taurus is dealing with a mother could have two kids a son and a daughter, a daughter and a son. Very beautiful. Very protective of her family. And everything that is her birthright. She's worked hard for it. She's worked very hard for it. This could be a single mom. She could stand alone. Because honestly, I pair the Hierophant with the High Priestess. I don't pair the Hierophant with the Empress. I feel like they're too different. Um, I don't. I I feel like they are too different and have two different stories. This one's a teacher and he's used to everybody obeying by their rules and listening to them. And then this one is a creator. Is a visionary. She makes things pop. She makes things grow. She brings beauty into a situation she brings happiness she brings joy she brings life you know what i'm saying this one brings structure this one brings honor this one brings dedication so and again we got the six of swords i couldn't like not count the six of swords i couldn't not count that i couldn't not count that So I just heard, it's like, I feel like this woman is struggling really bad. It's like, it's, I don't even feel like this woman got no shoes. It's like she got paper bags with some strings wrapped around her free for protection. Y'all see this shit? I feel like this woman has nothing. I feel like she's very poor. She has nothing, bruh. God, why does that almost make me want to cry? God, that almost makes me sad. 
It's like someone needs some level of help or something. Someone needs help. And you see, she got that baby right there. It's like... Let me see what else is coming out. But I'm... Okay. So... Me just taking this honestly at face value. Relationship, harmony, divine order. The Six of Swords, the Empress, and the Hierophant. I just heard... It's like this man is learning how to help somebody out other than themselves. He's the one with the boat. He's the one with the resources. It's like this woman really needs aid and assistance. And you know what I'm saying? It's I heard she's a selfless seeker. It's like even though she has paper bags with rubber bands wrapped across her feet. Like if she was to come across somebody that was in need, she would take that shit off and give it to them. It's like even with nothing, she has it all. And it's like if, if, if um, I feel like someone could quickly overlook her. It's like someone could look at her as if she's damaged goods and possibly not even realize that she's an empress. Only, they, only thing they see is like some poor woman that is in need of some help that is carrying along a baby which to someone from the outside looking in is a, a liability so it's like I'm not just helping you I gotta take care of you and your child to make sure that y'all get what you need but it's something about this lady is a fucking empress It's something about, because the six of swords is the three of swords and the three of swords. It's like, it's, and then you see how he got the ace of wands right here. You see how he got the wand in his hand. And honestly, this man, in all meanings of the card, this man is helping get, um, to aid and assist and shepherd this woman to a new beginning. She's in troubled waters. If you look. When she's stepping, where she's leaving from, you see all of this, the ripples and this troubled waters. On the other side of this boat, it's calm and serene. He is taking her from troubled waters to a better environment. Ace of Wands. A new lease on life. There could have been a lot of pain that happened in his life with the Three of Swords. But he understands her pain. It's like that's why he's willing to help her. It's like selfless, selflessly. And I'm paying attention. Y'all see that star all the way in the background? I just heard like a wish is being satisfied. It's like you just got to get to the other end. It's like. Two people got to see each other for why y'all came in each other's life. And got to recognize how to treat each other and where each other came from. It's like that's why he was willing to risk his life and extend that hand to you to help you. Because it's like he didn't have to help her. But at the same time, it's like. If he would have never assisted this woman and had just looked at her at face value for what it seems like she is, he'd have never realized when she got to her rightful land that she was truly the empress. God, why am I? Okay, okay. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me keep it going. Let me keep it going. Cause like I'm sorry, I have never done a reading. With well, two major arcanas like this just hopped out the fucking gate. I've never, like, I have never done a reading where the Hierophant and the fucking Empress is the two leading characters. And I'm just like, whoa. Like, it's something deeper here because, like, what? What? And then you got the bird above her head, so there may be... I want to say like genuine communication.
It may be soft, lighthearted, and honest communication. And y'all forgive me if y'all hear my son in the background making all that noise, y'all. Y'all forgive me. Alright, tell me what's going on with... You got the child card. And then you got relationship. <laughs> okay, Taurus. You know, the Empress represents like motherhood and things like that. So I don't know if you guys are like expecting a child. If your relationship is blooming. If the introduction of a baby will help bring forth a, a deeper level of level of commitment. Well, I just heard somebody is watching you. I just heard someone is watching you move forward. It's like someone is watching you. What? what? What the fuck is going on? Let <laughs> me get some more information here. The child in a relationship. Clarify the, 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 the empress, the hierophant. Is someone getting married because of news of the child or something? Or is the child going to bring, like, I'm thrown off now. The child. I'm sorry, I'm just having to listen. Hold on, hold on. Kai, Kai, you're too loud. I'm sorry, because I couldn't even listen to my inner thoughts. Like, my son is just in there just going off. You got the full of wands, so it is like some marriage. It's like, it's, it's marriage. It's like commitment, celebration, happiness because of like the it's like some new beginning. But you got the emperor in the reverse. Okay, so relationship harmony. The Six of Swords. So, okay. What I'm getting. Um, <sighs> okay. What I'm getting. I just heard two people from the same differences. So... I feel like two people from opposite side of the spectrum. I feel like the, the reason I don't is something about that star in the background. That star in the background is like the promised land. It's like these two people hopes and dreams. It's like it's like Okay, people are throwing me off. I'm sorry I'm getting distracted. Y'all forgive me if I'm getting distracted. And maybe that's, maybe is that what happened? Because it's something about also, it's like the emperor, it's, it's just like, um, Ellen not sure if herself prepared or ready for some level of responsibility. I feel like all this person was trying to do was to help and not fall in love or not take on something. Because it's, it, it's like with the emperor in the reverse, I feel like maybe the child isn't his. The, the, this person isn't a, isn't a father to these. Because clearly you can see when, when, they, when they met. When he met, this woman was with child. She already had the children. So it's like not his responsibility but at the same time it's like he's aiming to aid and please the empress 
even though he doesn't know that this is an empress, I feel like this person is just doing his job. But at the same time, it's like, it's something about this man where he's getting some type of teachings from the Hierophant. About maybe how to aid her and how to get her to the other side. It's something about this woman needs help. I just heard something about women need someone to listen to them. Because you see the swords on the boat. So it's something about you paying attention and just listening. Just listen. Because it's like this woman is seeking a new beginning. And like in a major way, I feel like y'all are meant to meet each other. It's something about the hopes and dreams of the star. That's all about faith. It's like faith will guide you. Because cause think about it. Like with people... It's like they're, they're guided by stars and constellations and stuff like that, right? So it's like hope and faith will guide you. Something about a connection about children in this relationship. I don't know if you guys, you've met this woman and she already had one or two children. You see this woman already has two children. She's already has two children. The Hierophant. I don't think he has children with anybody. He doesn't have children with anybody. I feel like the world is his children. And he stays focused on that. It says the child. You care deeply about children. And they readily respond to your love. All children including your own inner child require love, affection and attention. We can clear and open your heart and schedule so that you can give more time and energy to the children who need you. I, it's something about, I feel like this man ain't ready for that. I, it's, it's like, I feel like he's not ready for his own child. But I, I feel like you're going to have one. I just keep hearing the, the emperor is not ready for that. Um, you got the, the you got the emperor reverse, the four of wands, and the nine of cups in the reverse. So the nine of cups in the reverse is giving like it's not just yourself anymore that you have to focus on. It's like gone are the days of selfishness where you can overindulge, secretly keep things hidden to yourself. Only focus on your own self and your own virtue and, and and only complain about your past life. It's like moving forward. You got to be a stable creature. You know, you're inviting a new person into your life. Like, I feel like there's a new little person coming into somebody's life. And I, I, I kind of feel like it was faded. Like... I don't want to. You see the Hierophant and how they got them two keys at the bottom? The Hierophant is like, I'm giving you access to this information. I think you're going to take heed to it and, 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 and take it or not. It's like, I'm giving you access to something. I'm giving you access to learn. You're dealing with an empress. I'm trying to teach you how to deal with the empress. Either you get it or you don't. And I just heard you. It's like you're responsible for it already. It's like you're already. You're already paying dues or responsibility for something already. Regardless if it's created or not. It's like you got to keep learning. You got to keep going. Even, it's like something about the inner child because it's like something about the emperor not wanting to grow up. It's like you're not wanting to step up. You don't want to take, because the emperor, you're not showing up at home. You're not making sure the bills pay. You're not protecting the women in your family. You're not being a good representation of a man. Your personality is crude. Um, just your whole situation is undue. It's just, it's just, 
but you want the respect, the notoriety, and the fame for being the emperor. But when it come down for you going to battle and to lead the army, it's like you go hide and cower at the top of the tower and you let everybody go fight and die for themselves. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's not being a true emperor. It's, it's something about... Someone fully stepping up to the responsibility and realizing that you can't just look at things singular, singularly as just you focus on, on you on your own. It's like you really got to pay attention and focus on somebody else now other than yourself. I heard it's a responsibility that you wanted and now you got it. It's like you wanted a relationship, you wanted a connection, you wanted an empress. It's like past the level of queens. We're past the level of queens and kings, but with hierophants and empresses. And you know, Taurus, that's, this is your card, the hierophant. It's about teacher, teaching and learning. It's about traditions. It's about creed. It's about a standard. And you're protecting that standard. You're, tech, you're protecting that legacy. You're protecting that value. You're protecting that creed. You're making sure that these people are loyal to you. And loyal to a tradition. So if you want to be a part of this. You got to respect the standard of our tradition. It's time for you to step up. You can't just focus on your own self-interest right now with this Nine of Cups in the reverse. And if you need to sober up, and if you need to clean certain things up about yourself so that you can, again, it's like the Hierophant is teaching somebody how to deal with an Empress. We can't, like this this type of shit right here is not going to be tolerated. Like you got to go get a job. You got to take care of yourself. You got to take care of, of others. And it's like this, this woman came with children. So you... You're going to have to take the responsibility of not only this woman, but these other children that are not choice and your child now. Because I feel like someone is, is, is about to expect the birth of a baby and the birth of a new relationship. I want to say just because you helped somebody. <laughs> like, not, not to make it sound like that, but there was a there's a lot of communication as being had and there's indeed wishes coming true there's still turbulent waters going on right now like there's still things that are kind of raw this girl still got bags on her feet and, and, and it's something about it's something about those bags be, because you see he meet her in a different position in a different level he's He's in the better. He got his own boat. Like he has way more than her. But it's who she ends up being when she gets to the other side. It's going to change the whole picture. When she gets to the other side. <laughs> you realize baby that's the, that's the daughter of the Hierophant. That's the Empress. I just heard. I just heard something about it. It's like Jesus literally granted your wish. Like. It's like what you've been praying for. It's like what you wanted. It's like God is bringing you relationship, harmony, and divine order, but in divine timing. But it's a lot of things that you got to work on within yourself. It's like, and, and one of the things that I've been saying a lot today is it's about keeping and maintaining the blessing. You can't deal with an empress the way you would deal with a queen. The Empress is the one that taught the Queens how to be the Queen. That's a whole different level of respect. It says relationships. Your primary relationship with yourself and God and every other relationship follows from there after. Excuse me, let me correct that. Your primary relationship is with yourself and with God. Every other relationship follows from there. To attract, heal, or balance a relationship, then snuggle more closely with your loving creator. They're going to hierophant. That's God right there. Something about 
so there could be a separation at this time it could be It could be. Okay, I'm sorry. Let me see. It says, to attract, heal, or balance a relationship, then, slug, then snuggle more closely with your loving creator. As you feel safe and loved within, so shall your other relationship bloom and prosper. I'm serious. Like That's why I kept saying it's like God or the, the, the emperor... Oh, the Hierophant. Wait. The Empress and the Emperor. Oh, my God. Okay. Why am I just realizing that the Empress and the Emperor are on the table? That's why y'all not balanced. It's like he not ready yet. It's like he's not mature. He's not ready to step up to the responsibility. Like his heart. His heart already wants to aid and help. And it's like he's in a better position than her. But... It's something about the level of responsibility that it would have to take. And him not solely being able to focus on himself. It's like he's not ready for it. But there's marriage. There's celebration. There's happiness. There's something about the togetherness of this relationship. Of this companionate relationship that brings true fulfillment. So, I don't really know what to say to this person. But, like, God is going to pull this shit together. I feel like, honestly, listen to yourself. Like, it's something where I, like I said, each person gets three swords. You know what this person has come through. You know what this person has struggle through you know it and i don't i don't i think that you're here to help her not to harm this woman so i feel like just it's something where i want to say just listen like really listen that's the only way that you're going to learn and then also whatever guidance whatever rules Whatever uniform, whatever um, guidelines you have to abide by, pay attention to them because it's extremely important. Like on a spiritual level, it's very important because it's like, it's like God give it and God will take it away because you see even this woman this woman walked away with nothing with bags on her feet she still didn't care she took her kids and she got the fuck with nothing with nothing you know what I'm saying with nothing so it's like when you're dealing with an empress it's like somebody that knows their work that knows their true virtue it's like you don't play with that because truly it's your loss so, you have to balance yourself out. It's like you got what you want. I just heard you got to know how to hold them and you got to know what, how to fold them. Certain things right now just ain't worth it. You need to focus on what's truly important right now. And if you got a child coming on, on the way, it's time for you to step up and be responsible. And if you need to deal with some shit with your inner child, like some shit from your childhood that is getting in the way with you stepping up and being a true responsible emperor, you're not just being a king. You are a fucking emperor. You lead the armies. You protect everybody. You're the father, 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 father figure. Like the biggest father figure is honestly the king of pinnacles, which is you, Taurus, but you're coming out as the emperor. Not even the king of pentacles. So it's like you're better than that. Like you got old school. 
history and fiber in your bones like you come from the old school you know what i'm saying it's like i don't know what it is about this situation that it's it's not it's, it's something about you not getting your foot in together it's because it's like i feel like you just been so used to focus on yourself it's like i, I don't I just heard him say, I don't know how to do this appropriately. It's like, you got to follow the rules. <laughs> That's it. That's all. But I'm not going to spend too much more time on this. Because I'm just like, I, I feel like I was struggling through this one. But anyway, I love you guys. Y'all let me know how this is resonating for y'all down in the comments. Because I'm sorry, this one was a struggle for me. And <laughs> I'm going to do better. Anyway, y'all got a love portion that I'm about to get into. So, y'all let me know how this resonate. Y'all click the like button. Come follow me over to the love portion. Okay, I have reloaded. I'll see y'all in a second. Bye. <laughs>